Nation, today looks different because we are coming to you from Kisogon, Transoia County. Now, Transoia is known as the country's food basket because of its mass production of maize and also because it's strategically placed in good climatic conditions all year round. Now, did you know there are coffee farmers in Transoia County? Today on a Gold Conversation, we want to find out what the county is doing to support small scale coffee farmers and also what efforts are they putting in place to increase increase the acreage of land and the coffee farming. To help us with that conversation is the CEC of Agriculture, Fanis Katundi. And then after that, Terer will talk to a young boy who's actually doing coffee farming right here in Transoia County. Ilituone, Mamboka ground in Akavipi. But before we get to that, let us go meet the CEC of Agriculture, Transoia County. This girl conversation. <laughs> to have you. <laughs> no bad. So good to have you and Thank so you. good to see you right here in Transoia County. Tungependa sana kuzungumzia masuala ya kahawa, lakini kabla tufikie hapo, tungependa kujua ukulima unaendeleaje katika county hii kwa sababu sehemu nyingi nchini watu wamekuwa wakipitia ukame na hiyo imefanya crop production ikarudi chini sana. Hapa Transoia hali ni gani? Ah, uh, asante sana. So, mambo ya kilimo hapa Transoia County kama idara ya agriculture tumepewa mwelekezo na governor na tembea e, objective yake ni mambo na production na value addition kisha pia kuna vipengele ambazo ni agenda yake ndani ya hizo vipengele kuna crop diversification na hapo kwa crop diversification ndio tunamulika coffee farming ukulima wa kahawa si kitu kipya transzoia lakini over time haijakuwa ikifanywa sana kwa nini ukulima wa kahawa umepungua katika kaunti hii a kahawa hapa hivi ilianzishwa transzoia kaunti na wale wazungu transzoia kaunti ni ile kaunti ilikuwa na imemilikiwa na wazungu so walikuwa na mimea zenye walikuwa wanapanda na kahawa kwa moja hapo ya mimea. So unapanda kuwa kuna shamba zenye zilikuwa za kahawa zile zinaitwa uh, estates kuna zile cooperatives kama kule uh, saboti, kuna muroki, chepkaka, kapretwa zile ni eneo zenye zimejulikana kwa uh, mashamba makubwa yenye alikuwa yamewekwa na wazungu kwa kuzingatia upandaji wa kahawa. Uh, mzungu kawaida ye na kahawa ni a, a, a part of life manake uh, kuna ile kukunywa kama uh, beverage na pia kuna ile ku, kuuza. So unapata wakati wenye mzungu alienda kukakuwa na ile population increase uh, na pia kutunza mimea hizi bush ya kahawa. So most of the families zikaanza ku kuslash hizo kahawa na wakaanza mambo na settlement. So na wengine pia hawakuwa na ile sensitization ile kuwahimiza waweke uh, kahawa. So uh, kwa muda watu wamekuja ku realize uh, kahawa ni gold manake one inauzwa kule kwenye inchi za inje sana na inauzwa kwenye dola so mapato ya kahawa yako juu so sisi kama county tupoona hivyo kupitia kwa uongozi wa governor na ambapo one of his agendas ni uh, crop diversification tukaangazia ni mimea zipi zinafanya vizuri hapa Transoia ya county na ni ipi inaweza uza ili ka increase economy ya hapa county tukaona kuwa kahawa is one of it na manake already kuna practice ya kahawa through cooperatives na estate so kuna hiyo juhudi kama county tunahakikisha kuwa wakulima kando na mahindi ambayo tuna produce kwa wingi tunawahimiza pia uh, waweze kupanda mimea kama kahawa na hapa hivi tuko kwenye kahawa so unapata wakulima wengi wa embrace na kuna ile uh, kuna mashirika yenye amekuja kutusupport kama solidarity dad wameweza kuintroduce nurseries uh, kupitia kwa youth uh, kusemu mbali mbali kwenye county so unapata wakulima wanakuwa initiated back into coffee farming na pia gava na ametilia mkazo uh, governor anatembea ameweza kutilia mkazo kwa sababu uh, next week anapeana miti za bure za kahawa the trees the coffee tree seedlings kwa wakulima wote wenye wanajihusisha na kahawa ili kuwapatia moyo ile mm -hmm. kando na mahindi kuna hizi mimea pia zenye zinaweza leta senti na watu wakafanya nini wakaishi vizuri mm -hmm. uh, basically ni uh, food security na eradicating mm -hmm. uh, poverty okay. na value addition right. so kahawa ni mstari wa mbele sisi ni watu ambao tunapenda ku kunena 
na kutenda with the mission of crop diversification kuimiza wakulima wajihusishe na aina nyingi ya ukulima so far are there results yeah, we are seeing the results uh, one uh, katika sector uh, department ya agriculture nimekuindikatia kuna hizi cooperatives mm -hmm. na tunaona increase in number of uh, mm -hmm. cooperatives that are involved in coffee farming mm -hmm. tunaona wale wakulima wenye wanajihusisha mm -hmm. hasa hapa tunazoea paka kuna wale uh, wanajiita union wenye wana advocate for their rights mm -hmm. so unaona kama mashirika kama union inaweza kuja kwenye county mm -hmm. ili waweze kupigania haki zao hiyo inaonyesha kuwa wanapigania haki ya wakulima wenye wako mm -hmm. na unapata their number is not less is more than 1000 mm -hmm. na kiangalia pia acreages za uh, coffee farming size hizi zime increase from the 430 zenye ziliwacho na wakoloni mm -hmm. na hasa hizi tuna tuna over 6000 mm -hmm. acres of land mm -hmm. yenye imetumika for coffee farming so that is an indication kuwa uh, wakulima wengi wanaingia kwenye uh, upandaji wa kahawa all right tuzungumzie national na county government tumeona kwamba naibu wa rais amekuwa akizungumzia mambo mengi kuhusu kahawa the reforms kama county mnafanya kuhakikisha all those reforms that have been put in place by the national government mnazi milk na zinafikia wakulima hata kwa ile sehemu ya chini kwa county naibu wa rais aliweza kutuhakikishia kuwa anaenda kuweka uh, kuzingatia mambo ya cartels waweze kungolewa waweze uh, kunyang'anywa licenses mm -hmm. ili kuhakikisha kuwa mkulima yule mdogo pia anafaidika kwenye uh, upandaji wa kahawa mm -hmm. so uh, aliweza kupeana hiyo notice na licenses zote zikakuwa cancelled so tunaongojea ile mwelekeo yenye sasa inakuja uh, changamoto yenye tuko nayo mm -hmm. watusaidie mm -hmm. na wakulima wetu mm -hmm. uh, kupitia kwa uh, governor na tutaona kuwa uh, tutaweza produce kahawa kama tu zile meru mm -hmm. wakati ambapo ulisema kuhusu sensitization ambapo unaambia wakulima kuna gold kwa kahawa mchanga wetu inaweza kuza kahawa tuingie katika kahawa ukisha mwelimisha hivyo anajua ah kweli wacha ni jaribu kuna pesa lakini kuna details very important mkulima anafaa kuelewa kuhusu kahawa contract za milling za marketing vitu kama hivyo ambapo unakuta wakulima wengi different parts of the country are not aware of that nyinyi kama county mnapoahimiza wakulima wenyu wajitose katika mambo ya ukulima wa kahawa mnafuatiliaje mafunzo yao when it comes to the finer details of milling of marketing of quality of the coffee mm -hmm. mm. asante sana uh, kwanza mafunzo yetu yanaanzia kule kwenye uh, vikundi vya wakulima mm -hmm. tunaweza kuwahimiza wakubali uh, kupandaji wa kahawa na ambapo wamekubali kisha tumewa sensitize the type of uh, coffee wanatakana wapande mm -hmm. unapata hapa Transoya county kuna ile kahawa inaitwa ruiru 11 mm -hmm. hiyo ndio inafanya vizuri sana so unapata kuwa katika ile ku, u, pata hii ruili 11 pia ni changamoto hapa Transoya yeah. county yeah. so ni lazima twende tuinunue kwingine kwa uh, county zingine ili wakulima wetu wafanye nini wapate so unapata gharama inafanya nini inaenda juu but kama county uh, kupitia uh, department ya agriculture na department ya environment mm -hmm. tunaweza ku procure hizi seeds uh, kwa bei ya juu alafu tunapatia wakulima kwa bei ya chini mm -hmm. uh, kama tunanunua kwa shilingi 400 uh, mti mmoja na wakulima wanaweza access at 100 na hata hivi vile tunaongea nimekuindicate kwa governor ameweza kupatia wakulima wote mm -hmm. seedlings za bure mm -hmm. za kahawa so ab, apart from sensitizing tunawaambia tunawaelekeza which type of uh, mm -hmm. uh, tree uh, seedling is mm -hmm. good for maximum production mm -hmm. maana kuna unapata ukipata ukipata kama hii batia nitaenda paka urefu juu mm -hmm. mkulima kuenda ku, kupata kufika huko hivyo ita am discourage mm -hmm. so but uh, real 11 mavuno yake na ile kusambaza ile hata mtoto anaweza fanya nini anaweza saidia kahawa ni gold mm -hmm. na ni ndio ujihusishe kwenye hii milling na these are pulping na ni lazima ukwe na leseni so kama county kuna ile leseni yenye tunapeana na county government mm -hmm. na kuna ile leseni yenye tunapeana na afa hiyo ya food uh, agricultural food authority mm -hmm. wao wanapeana nini leseni mm -hmm. so kama county ile party yetu ya kupeana leseni tunahakikisha kuwa tunapeana kwa uh, wakulima wetu kwa haraka ili kuwaese kuwezesha waweze kujiingiza kwenye wa ukulima mm -hmm. na uh, pulping mm -hmm. na milling anything every step in uh, mm -hmm. in coffee mm -hmm. requires a licensing so sisi tumahakikisha kwa we isn't the steps of the farmer mm -hmm. so that uh, wakati wanapata ile afa mm -hmm. everything is uh, flowing tuzungumzie vijana tutapata wakulima wengi wa kahawa miaka 50 kwenda juu 
mnafanya nini kuhakikisha tumefanya vijana wanajihusisha na mambo ya ukulima Asante sana. Uh, hapa Transoya account unapata kuwa kuna vijana wenye wako na interest ya kuingia kwenye ukulima wa kahawa. But changamoto ni land ownership. So wengi wanategemea wazazi wao. So unapata yule mzazi mwenye ana miti za kahawa ndio ana initiate the family mozo watoto wake waendeleze kilimo cha cha kahawa. So unapata kuwa kuna kuna unapata kuwa kuna wale uh, the youths we, wenye like hapa hivi Transoya kuna youth for coffee ambapo wamejiingiza katika branding of coffee kuna Arabic coffee from uh, uh, Transoya County na hata hii shamba hivi it's uh, owned by a farmer who was uh, given it to the sun ambapo mm. pia hajatembea mwenyewe mm. ameweza kufanya nini kukusanya vijana wengine wanafanya kazi kwa pamoja mm. so unapata wao wana, katika mambo ya branding mm. katika mambo ya marketing mm. uh, online marketing mm. vijana wako sawa mm. so tunawahimiza uh, na pia tunawa sensitize on how to go about it mm. but unapata when it comes to online wao ni magwiji hakuna mm. ile party yenye sisi tunawa sensitize the only challenge yenye yuko ni owning the farms so that they do their own production. Na unajua shamba ni ni, ni pesa mingi. Mm-hmm. So mostly wanategemea wazazi wao. Mm-hmm. So the youths wenye wazazi wao wako na shamba za kahawa they are at upper hand. But wao sio wachoyo, wameweza kuinvite wengine and they are working together na saa hizi vile naongea hivi mm-hmm. uh, kuna ile coffee for youth from here mm-hmm. in Transoya County inaitwa Arabica Coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah, asante. All right. Mm-hmm. Na unajua katika pia mambo ya ukulima si kuingia tu kwa shamba tu. Mm-hmm. Kuna value addition aspect sure. of it, mm-hmm. kuna the mechanical digitization mm-hmm. part of it ambayo pia ni vitu ambayo inaweza vutia vijana. Mimi kama one of them nikisikia mambo ah hii kahawa tunaweza tengenezea wine or something nitajiingiza yes. pale. Mm-hmm. Mnafuatiliaje mambo ya value addition? Mnafanya mm-hmm. nini pia kuhakikisha mnatumia mbinu za size za kisasa za kiteknolojia kwa sababu hizo mm-hmm. pia ni njia ambazo zinaweza wavutia vijana mm-hmm. katika ukulima? Um, when it comes to value addition mm-hmm. there is uh, the money aspect implication mm-hmm. na hapo ndio kuna changamoto kuna ile pia sisi tunategemea mashirika mengine ili waweze kutuboost um, also ukiangalia kama national government kuna zile senti zina role to the county government but hizo senti haziko enough so kuna ile changamoto ikikuja upande wa ikikuja upande wa wa sent. but ile we have sensitized them wanajua umuhimu wa kahawa wanajua kahawa ikiwekwa vizuri it, it is a foreign exchange uh, uh, commodity uh, kahawa sisi kama kina mama tunajua inatumika for beauty katika ile kusubua ngozi kitumia kahawa ngozi itafloa kama hii hapo <laughs> So kahawa ina manufaa mengi mm. it is a stimulant na okay most use wakitumia na wao waweze kueneza hiyo injili mm. so many people watafanya nini wataingia mm. kwenye uh, crop farming mm. so the only aspect yenye metuweka nyuma ni the 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 money bit of it aspect. yeah mm. otherwise our youths are ready but tumeingia kwenye hii mambo ya youth funds na tumeanza na sunflower ambayo sasa tumewaweka kwenye vikundi mm-hmm. baada ya sunflower the next crop yenye naletwa Transoya County mm-hmm. through the national government uh, kata si afa mm-hmm. ni kahawa mm-hmm. so i want to believe wakati itakuja mwezi wa pili mm-hmm. then tuta recruit so many youths ili waweze kujihusisha kwenye mambo ya kahawa It's so amazing to talk to you Thank but you we are not yet done. Sure. For now we are taking a short commercial break but when we come back we will hear from a young farmer right here in Transoya County who has been engaging in coffee farming. Terer has something special for us but before we go tunawaambia nini mhesh? Tunawaambia coffee is gold right here on Kenya's gold. Come on now. Thank you so much. <laughs> 